Hey guys, my name is Mason Rose Gray. You're watching Get Ready With Me. So honestly, I'm kind of a tomboy. I don't really wear a whole lot of makeup. Uh, I'll go ahead and kind of give you the rundown, be super simple. I always start my makeup with a candle. Why not set the mood? I usually play some type of music too, but copyright and all that good stuff. So I start with just a basic cream. Anti-aging, gotta keep the skin really nice, you know. This one is Meaningful Beauty. I've had it for about a month and a half. So far, so good, we'll see. How are you guys doing today? So it's definitely pouring outside, which is super nostalgic. It's really pretty. I uh, just got back from running. Honestly, I don't really run a whole lot, but it's just one of those days where I need to get out of the house. So I just do circle motion because that helps circulation. Breaking out a little bit. I use a cream called Tretinoin and it usually helps clear it up. And then I usually go with just an eye cream. So I have some really amazing news. I just came out with my first single. It came out on the 1st of July. It's been amazing. It's called Survive. So I normally just kind of like give my face a little massage. It's like a little time for self-love. Okay. Onto the makeup. So, I've tried so many different products. The current one I'm using is called Born This Way. I got it recommended from somebody at Sephora. Very nice. She also recommended using this brush, which honestly, probably not the best thing, but I used to just put it on my hands and put it all over my face, but oils and Definitely leads to bacteria and more acne, so stick with these two. I think this is a good option. Just do a little squirt. Uh, normally, I just kind of pat it on. Nothing too crazy. Let it soak in. I'm curious to see where everybody lives. I've traveled quite a bit. Definitely want to travel more. But I love to hear what people are from, what other countries, and just their life experiences. So, to, honestly, I just do a really thin layer. Sometimes I'll, I will add a little bit more, but. <laughs> I always have some form of tune in my head. <laughs> always singing and dancing, I swear. So my next product, so excited to get to the next thing, is Laura Mercier. It's just a basic powder. So I'll switch up the brushes and just use a basic brush. Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about makeup, but we're learning together. So I just put a little bit on the cap. This is a transparent powder. So it really kind of holds the color in. It doesn't really add too much to it, but it keeps the makeup on longer. Mm. The candle smells good. <laughs> okay, now time to pick my eyeshadow. And like I said, I don't really have a huge selection, but I have 
Bare Minerals, two colors. And then I have the Naked Basic. This has just a few colors too. Ooh, what am I wearing today? Okay. I guess I'll just do something really basic. Oh no, I don't have a little brush. That's all I'm my finger. Okay. This is when your hands come in handy. What? So, I don't know, I just feel a little bit fun and creative today, so I want to show that out. So today I'm so excited, I'm going to be playing some piano and some guitar. You guys should totally check me out on Instagram. My handle's at Mason Rose Gray. I love dancing, so you'll see a bunch of weird videos. So honestly, I just put a thin layer on. I don't do crazy. Yeah. Makes me look like a little girl. Mm -hmm. I think that looks good. Maybe I'll put a brown on the top just to kind of even it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that I know we were talking today. <laughs> Going to a show. Okay, so the next thing I do is eyeliner. So it just depends on my mood, but most of the time I'll just put a thin layer at the bottom. Sometimes I will do a wing. It just depends. So I know you're not supposed to, but I kind of bring my eyelids down a little bit. Or maybe just like. Hmm, could go for the top, but I think I'm going to hold. So, obviously, see, this I feel like is a lot for me. Normally, I'm just super basic, but for you guys, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I do is my eyebrows. So, I really dig the super thick. Eyebrows. I know that mine are crazy. I honestly don't even look them that often. So I'm all about making yourself laugh. I don't know if anybody else does this. This is super weird. <laughs> but I totally... When I get upset or, you know, I'm just in a bad mood, I seriously tickle myself. <laughs> I know that sounds so weird, but it makes me so happy. And sometimes I think, you know, we seek outside approval so much in our lives. And in reality, we can make ourselves happy by ourselves. Although it is essential to be around people because every day I learn so much from people. So I think it's the balance. I think it's all about the balance. It's actually makes me think. So I'm curious on everybody's thoughts of diet because I am super into my health and I do yoga and I like running, but I usually start my day with a smoothie or something green. I'm curious what you guys like to start your day with. So the next step, sorry, get off topic a little bit. This is, I'm not sure how to say it, say it, but it is an amazing, amazing mascara. Okay, I'll get to that in a sec. So I'll start with my left eye. Honestly, nothing super crazy, just something simple. 
So I use, I've been trying to use my opposite hand. So I'm left-handed. I do everything with my left hand. When I was younger, I did play some soccer and I was always told to use my right leg, which was always so strange to me. But I've been reading that it's really important to use the other side of your body, essentially the ambidextrous. So I use my right hand, which is only the hand. So I live life without being challenged. So, I just recently cut my hair into a girl mullet, kind of similar to Miley Cyrus. She set the trend. So funny, I actually was going out to lunch with my grandma, and she was like, oh, what are you going to get done with your hair? And I just, oh, she said, you know, oh, I'm going to get a mullet. Looks at me and, what? <laughs> totally joking at this moment, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to go do it, <laughs> despite my grandma's reaction, <laughs> and it actually turned out really freaking cool, so I'm going to light that down. Okay, so since we still have some more time, I will go ahead and use a little bit of this bronzer, which I don't normally use. Okay. Looking a little white today. Put a little bit of bronzer on. Fatten up those cheeks. And last but not least, I don't really wear lipstick either, but when I do, I actually love it. So, this is Rihanna's new line, and I love it. This is really, really dark. So, it's just gonna fade. Ooh, do you guys want to meet my dog? So, I just use an almond oil for a little moisturizer for the lips. So, I also love, love, love essential oils. So, I make kind of my own concoctions. And... I don't know where it is. This is so good. Brightens the mood, the energy, all that fun stuff. So there you have it. Here's my look. Very simple, basic. As you can see, I'm in the, in the uh, no bra club right now. I'm all about liberation, freedom. I'm a huge feminist. So let's see, some upcoming projects, which I'm so, so excited to share with you guys. I am currently wor working on my first album. It's called Omnipresence. Essentially, so the word means a presence everywhere. So I think that that's us connecting with each other. And each individual song actually is kind of a diary of my life story. And I had a lot of heartbreak growing up and in my adolescence, and I really didn't know who I was at that moment. So all of the writing and the work that I'm doing now has a lot to do with my 20s. I just recently turned 30, and well, actually I'm going to be 31 August 4th, which reminds me, uh, my next single, Perfect Design, is going to be coming out on my birthday, 
I thought it would be like a really good gift to myself to be able to show the world this song. It's about love and feeling every part of your body. And this is so amazing to be able to share this on this platform because it's all about your body and your face and your eyes and your beauty, which is so essential because we are all, all, all unique and supposed to be loved in every single way, despite what anybody says. Stop the bullying, spread the love, um, let's see, so back to the album, I am planning to release a song every month, roughly, um, definitely stay tuned, my Instagram is at Mason Rose Gray, I, like I said, love to dance, I normally will just freestyle, whenever I was in California, I started doing yoga, and I went on this meditation retreat, and went to the Amazon and did this Amazonian healing medicine and that just opened up this huge avenue which I would love to share at a different time but since then I've just been revitalized and truly myself and I just I don't care what anybody thinks of me anymore I think it's more so of just having fun and enjoying the moment and being present so I'm going to end there. I think you guys are incredible. I am so, so honored to be on this, this podcast, this YouTube channel. Uh, JMO, you are amazing. I really, really appreciate it. Subscribe. Click the like button. You guys have an amazing day. I'm going to go enjoy the rain and curl up on the couch and read a book. Bye, guys.